science. We give all these billions of dollars to NASA and for what? So they can count all the stars? Here they are going to the moon, going to Mars, but we got problems here on Earth. Doing things just to see if they can do it, what a waste of time and money. These are the exact same arguments that were made in the early 70s that ultimately ended the Apollo program. Which is too bad. Because in the process of wasting everyone's time and money, NASA created some amazing technologies that have completely changed the world. Junkin1 commented on my 5 Future NASA Projects video, I'm really stunned by that Cloud City on Venus project. What would be the exact purpose of such a plan? Okay, scientific research, I guess, but what exactly could be expected? Science is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Except diabetes, if you eat too much of it. Chocolate, not science. Does science give you diabetes? Any wheezy, science doesn't always follow a prescribed path. Sometimes the mere act of just trying to figure things out lead to creations and discoveries that wind up changing the entire world. For example, our discovery of the nature of the atom and the laws that govern it led to our current understanding of electricity and transistors, which I'm pretty sure you're using right now. And NASA, in their conquest of air and space, put themselves in very extreme conditions. Extreme conditions that lead to extreme problems that require extreme solutions. And here are five ways that those extreme solutions have changed your life. Floating around in the microgravity of space is awesome. The only problem is, so is everything else. Cool, I can see Japan. They needed a simple and cost-effective way to strap things down so they don't float all over the place without using tape, which can cause a static electricity charge and leave little sticky residue everywhere. The solution? Velcro. It keeps their tools handy and out of their eyeballs, which is a good thing. And now it's a ubiquitous part of our lives, especially if you spend any time putting up banners and stuff like that. I actually use it back here on my green screen. Science. Even though Apollo astronauts collected hundreds of pounds of space rocks, NASA wanted to know what was going on underneath the surface. And for that, they needed a moon drill. Only one problem. There aren't a whole lot of electrical outlets on the moon. So NASA worked along with Black & Decker to create a drill that had two things. First of all, just amazing recyclable energy technology that they didn't have before, but also computerized settings in the drill to keep it from overheating and to keep it from getting stuck. This, of course, set the stage for the drill that's probably in your garage right now. Science. Astronauts experience up to three Gs during launch and re-entry. Not comfortable. NASA needed a way to protect them from these extreme pressures, something that had just the right amount of give but would also spring back to its original shape. And it had to do this over and over and over again. The result was an open cell plastic foam called temper foam, or as we now know it, memory foam, which you may have slept on last night. In fact, my dog has a memory foam bed. Science. <sighs> This one honestly blows my mind. In the 80s, NASA scientists were playing around with ideas of how to keep astronauts fed on really long space flights like, say, to Mars. And they stumbled on the idea of using algae, which actually has a whole lot of beneficial properties. For one thing, it's easy to maintain, it eats waste, it creates oxygen, and they can create nutritional molecules. One such molecule produced by algae is called DHA, which is an essential molecule in breast milk and helps with babies' brain development. And today, DHA is added to 90% of formula in the United States so that babies who don't get breast milk can still get the same benefits of it. Synthesized boob juice. Science. Last but definitely not least requires a little bit of explanation. You know those structures that hold the rockets to the launch pad just before liftoff? Those are called gantries. And when the rocket engines fire, the vibration they produce is astonishing. It's enough to shake the gantries apart and even damage the rockets themselves. So how do they keep those gantries attached to the rockets in those final moments as the engines fire and vibration hits without it damaging everything? by using the best shock absorbers on the planet. And the company that worked with NASA to design those shock absorbers began to think, hey, if we can protect a rocket from its vibration, maybe we can protect a building from earthquake vibrations. Now that same technology is being put into buildings in earthquake-prone cities like Tokyo and San Francisco, and of the hundreds of buildings that have had this installed, none of them have suffered any significant earthquake damage. Shake less, science more. So to answer the original question, there's no way of knowing what kind of technology and what kind of benefit we might get out of setting up a cloud city on Venus. But if history is any guide, it's going to be world-changing and mind-blowing. And these spin-offs are just the tip of the iceberg. There are literally hundreds of examples of ways that NASA technology has changed your life. In fact, NASA has a YouTube channel dedicated completely to spin-off technologies. I'll link to it in the description below. Go check it out. It's really cool. Thanks for watching at the Junkin' One for a great question. If you've got a question you'd like to ask, you can ask it in the comments below or just hit me up on Twitter at Joe 
host Scott Ryder and we can blow some minds together. If you learned something, hit thumbs up and if this is your first time here and you like it, put a ring on it and subscribe. I'll come back with videos just like this every Monday. As I always say, the world's a fascinating place and I'm here to bring that interestingness to you. So you guys go out there, have an eye-opening week, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Take care.